So good morning, good afternoon. I am Joe Rose and I happen to be the president and the founder of Parkinson's Resource Organization, which has a mission of working so no one is isolated because of Parkinson's disease. We were actually founded in 1990 as our, our, our Internal Revenue Service Tax Exempt Authority was to educate and emotionally support families or people going through the journey of Parkinson's disease. So Parkinson's Resource Organization, otherwise known as PRO, does this in several ways. And that we have support groups throughout Southern California. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have a monthly newsletter, which you'll find in front of you. We have a robust website, and when I say robust, it really is. We have a public outreach that we do, just like today would be considered one of our public outreaches. We tell the world who we are and what we do. We have fundraising events that we have so many people that get involved in support. We are really so grateful. And we do, uh, we, and on the website, we have two really unique and wonderful places. Um, one is called the Memorial Wall, which honors the people who have gone before us who had Parkinson's disease or were somehow affected by it. And then we have the Wellness Village, which I will get into in a second. So you've heard of Parkinson's disease before, and especially in the news, if you've watched for Robin Williams or Michael J. Fox, Muhammad Ali, Joseph Campanella, he, he recently passed, Pope John, um, the, the, Pope John Paul II, um, George, George Bush, um, the, the older George Bush, the one that's, whose wife just died. And then Alan Rosen, you see up at the right, that's my late husband. And then Emilia Lank down at the bottom, that's, my, that's supposed to be my mother, but we didn't have a picture of my mother, so we used to see a ball. Because <laughs> she, was, she was a nice character. <laughs> So Parkinson's actually goes through five stages. It's a movement disorder. And so most people see Parkinson's, they look at Michael J. Fox and they think it's probably an okay thing to have because he seemed to manage pretty well um, through his life. But it really goes through these five stages. Um, and, and in the beginning, it seems like just a small problem. As it gets into the middle, as you can see the postural changes, it gets a little more difficult. And by the end, the person is pretty much wheelchair bound and bed bound. So we try to help all the way through that journey. And one night as I was going through to our Newport Beach support group meeting, I, um, I had three speakers and then the audience. And as I was moderating the meeting, I continued to say, what we're doing here, folks, is building a wellness village. What we're doing is building a wellness village. I said that three times during the meeting. And on my way home, I thought, what on earth is a wellness village? So I took my imagination, thanks, Laura, and I, and I went to Switzerland. And I started building, in my mind, the wellness village. The wellness village is actually a global initiative. It's local. It's global. But I'll tell you a story about a young lady who's an American lady who lives in Paris, France. And her mother lived in Rancho Mirage. And Anne was continually called when her mother would fall down, because that happens in the end stages of Parkinson's. And she would get the call saying, you know, your mom fell, we need some help, what are you gonna do? And many times she would try to hurry home to help mom with her fall. And there was a, then she kept, she was really, she couldn't do this all the time. It was not only expensive, but she didn't have the amount of time to put into it. So she went on the internet and she found Parkinson's resource organization. And in the Wellness Village, which you'll see in a second, there was and is listed Atria Hacienda, which is an assisted living facility. And she hurried and pinged it and went to their Wellness Village page. She arranged for her mother to be moved from Rancho Mirage into the Atria Hacienda without her having to come home so that when she had time and peacefully could come home, she got to attend to all of the things like putting the house on the market, um, do all the things that one has to do to close up one living space and go into another living space. So when we talk about global is local and local is global, that's what we mean. We also know that it takes a village to help someone with advanced Parkinson's from the beginning to the end, but particularly at the end. So I tried to put together a few examples of what we have in the room where somebody might like to help 
themselves help the Parkinson's community. So a realtor, for instance, would be somebody that the community would look at for downsizing or even upsizing. For instance, if bringing a caregiver into the home means adding another bedroom, it might be either adding onto the home or it might be building a, or it might be buying a new home. A service pro type person who can come in and clean the carpets and clean the tile and clean the furniture. So and and um, you can go through the list and you'll see an interior designer, a reverse mortgage company. Um, we can go into um, products and services that we know is highly represented here. Um, hospice companies, final arrangements company like Forest Lawn. Um, okay, so we got all of those on one. That's easy. Okay. <laughs> so there are many of you in here today, and for you, John, I think you also would be a, someone who could help out building the memories and and the cultural connections and leaving a legacy, critical stuff. So in order for you to get involved today, if you so desire, uh, the Wellness Village is a subscription-based platform on our website. Uh, there's an annual subscription fee. It's by invitation and application. The applications get vetted, and they get vetted with um, pretty high standards, because if I would use your company, then I think that our constituents and our members would. So on the table in front of you is a 10% discount that's worth coupon worth, worth $125. It expires on September 1 because the current rate for a single, single uh, location today is $1,250 a year. Now if you think about that, that's about $100 a month. And chances are it would take one person in the Parkinson's community to help you bring back or realize the return on that investment. You couldn't spend this money in the Desert Sun as an example and get the kind of return that you can get on our website, which is a go-to website in the Parkinson's world. We've been teaching our members where to go to find these resources. They know they can depend on them. And so it's, it's just like, it's a fabulous place. In addition to that, our, our monthly newsletter is in front of you. We have a press release on the Wellness Village because it's really the first of its kind resource directory. And then we have the Wellness Village application in front of you. And we have tribute envelopes. So if you don't want to, to uh, come into the Wellness Village, make a tax deductible donation. I talked to Laura about that this I said we started 5,000, and I have to laugh at that one, but we start, no, we start. A donation to the organization is what you can afford, and what you might want to do to help us emotionally and educationally support people with Parkinson's. It's a nasty disease. I've lived through it, as you saw, twice. Once with my mother, who actually was misdiagnosed, but she lived with Parkinson's for eight years, and then my late husband, who lived with it for 18 years. And that was my compelling, those were my compelling reasons for starting an organization that helped those that are desperately in need of help, and they're looking for your support as well. So I appreciate your being here today. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please come and ask me. And again, thank you for this whole and lunch today was phenomenal. Yeah. Well, I